Hello, hello. This is Snake by PR Zen Not Here Reporter tonight. I am in Valencia. In this venue, the name 16 toneladas, 16 tons. And tonight is playing Mr. Mike Trump. Never sure where I'm going. And today we are in the venue 16 toneladas, 16 toneladas here in Valencia. We are Mikey. Trump. Which for the rest of you means 16 tons. Yeah, thank you very much. Some heavy shit. He's good on everything, music and translating. So please talk a little bit about yourself. How long time you in the music? Oh, yeah, that's. I mean, we're coming up on 43 years now. Wow. Tres años. And, uh, it's been, know, it's that's so a long, long journey. Mm -hmm. And when you have that long of a journey, there's some mistakes made along the way because you don't start out knowing what you know later on. So oh. first, there's the first band and you go through that and then you find out that doesn't You're there. work. Exactly. Yes. And that was the band I was living in Spain. And in, in, in 83, I went to America. Mm -hmm. And this is when I met Vito Brada. And yeah. this is when we started White Lion. Mm. And so now the chapter starts that a lot of people know about. But from 83 to 91 was the year of White Lion, of the, of the, of the years of White Lion. Four albums, Fight to Survive, Pride, Big Game, and Main Attraction. Then when we came to 91, it just felt like it should stop. Yeah. And, you know, everybody always asks about it. And it isn't, I don't really have the answer to why it did. It just felt like it. Yeah. It just felt like the 80s was over. It's and it changed. Yeah, it, 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 it oh, just, wow, it's just wow. a natural feel. So you say, yeah. I want to change my hair. I want to sing a little different. I want to write the songs a little different. Mm. I want to have some different bands on. And that's at the same time. That's the evolution as well. Huh? Exactly. When Nirvana starts. Yeah. And Pearl Jam, and then there's a change, and this also happens to musicians and artists. You get pulled along. Mm -hmm. It's difficult to really stay and says, No, I'm just gonna have big blonde hair and pink spandex pants while oh, Kurt Cobain is standing there in a sweater. Yeah. And then a new chapter starts, which is called Freak of Nature. And that represents a lot of the influence from that time. It was really difficult to start something in the 90s and not being influenced by one way or another by the grunge bands. Yeah, that's Jane, true. But you, you know, know, you always keep your bass inside, you exactly. know? Even you start to sing. Yeah. It's, it's, like, it's, it's, it's just a natural thing, you yeah. know? It's like you want to be original, but it's difficult to be so original when I you're know. in the middle of a movement. Yeah. You know, it's like nobody... But still, that's it, that's it, you know? Exactly, because we, we came from the 80s and now we're in the 90s and the 90s was so different. MTV had stopped playing the big 80s videos. Yeah. And suddenly... Somehow, would, yeah. Exactly, and so, somehow all the 80s bands were like an outcast. So a lot of people were running away. And, and we, were, we were trying to figure out where we fit it in. Oh, now, now, 25 years later, looking back, I have all the answers, but at that time I didn't. Of course. I didn't. Because I really didn't know what it was. You just go, go with the flow, no? Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. It's like this. Yeah. What do you think about now? How is the music oh. right now? What do you think about the reggaeton and all yeah. this? <laughs> it's, it's, it's... <laughs> Amazing. You want to move it's, on the reggaeton as yeah. well? Well, it, the only thing that can say is that I don't believe that today there will come new, new bands that will exist in 20 years. Of course, exactly. This, the same way that the bands that happened, of course, in the 70s 
and then the eighties and possibly also the nineties will 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 live on as yeah. legends. But the music of today and even the bands of today will be gone quicker. Yeah, yeah, they've got maybe one, two years, that's it. Exactly. So that's really difficult looking at a career that, that says, well, you know, you, you might only last so long. Yeah, that's as well. No, then the letters have any meaning, nothing, you know. Exactly. At least for me. Yeah, no, no, for me too. I don't, there, yeah. I don't, there's no new bands. That I that that I buy their album. Or yeah, I, yeah, you know, I know. And because I'm listening, you know, it changed the radio straight away. Like, oh my god, no. Classic it's rock. Really painful. Classic rock, yeah. and, and and it's so. I think that affects how you 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 look at the music business because you always try to compare everything to where you were. Yeah. And I don't, it's like you go, I don't know how am I supposed to compare this. You got now, exactly. now I'm talking to my children about music and that's not the way it was supposed exactly. to be. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You know, exactly. I mean, you got movies like Bohemian Rhapsody or, or The Third, yeah. sort of doing bad versions of the original I bands and, and, and basically telling the people that never saw the bands that that's how it was and it wasn't like that. Yeah. It's kind of like, you know, uh, messing around with history. Yeah, say, no, it's more comedy really... than actually history for me. Huh? It's totally comedy. It's yeah. nothing to do with the real thing. I was at the real thing and I know it wasn't like that. Oh, I don't want to say the real <laughs> thing. Maybe we don't have too much time. But then you, you can tell me some things that happened to well, you I mean, now, at the time. Now it's, now it, it, it's, 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 it's like, it's like you have a shop with a lot of different shops and a lot of these shops are, are selling modern things but you decide to be nostalgic because mm -hmm. I'm like old-fashioned when it comes to music I don't want it to, to develop or envelop anymore I want it to stay where my favorite bands ended yeah me too you know, there's I'm nothing not, else to develop I'm still, you know I'm I mean? still Led Zeppelin, I'm still Jimi Hendrix, I'm still Queen, I'm still oh, Ben Lissy, Bob Dylan those are my heroes, that's my foundation of mm. music um all the bridge is not something that is i'm influenced by because yeah, yeah. no i could almost be like right. well, these are the original ones the, the original ones they're the original ones <laughs> there's only one original one you know what i'm saying and you can never be a second original exactly, one. exactly. but now it's all copies yeah exactly you know, nobody come up with any idea actually or any idea that is good you know yeah. uh, the and already. yeah i mean so it's difficult to decide if you should change to fit into the future oh, no. or you should just accept that you're only going to do so much because you accept don't want to change. I don't change this. No, no. Also because the audience, <laughs> it's almost like every year rock and roll loses half a million rock fans. Yeah. And pretty soon that's... But, well, that's a lot of our mentality these days, no? How sad is that? I'm going to cry. No, no. Yeah, I no. thought about something more funny, please, because I'm still in... So nostalgic and all these things. So can, yeah. I, can we talk about the blue jobs, for example? Why not? Yeah, I'm still waiting to get my first. God is done the same day. We were stuck down in business. <laughs> Well, um, see, you know, you talk about music before, that doesn't happen anymore anymore. You see? There's nobody coming backstage or, okay, or something job. like that. People go home before you even put your guitar away. Oh my god. So people ask, what changed for rock and roll? Well, that's one of those. The blue dogs. The blue yeah. dogs. Yeah, and you don't have any girls in the, fr in the front row that show you the dress. You will have the same thing. Okay, well, we we're gonna, gonna film that. You're gonna remember the old times with me. Is that legal? <laughs> <laughs> so right for me, to be honest. Right? I think this is everything. We've been, know, been, we've been bitten by the snake here, I can tell you that. Bye bye, snake by PR, the Naughty Reporter. Like it. Gracias. <laughs> the new album is called Dead End Ride.
importa, yo sí. Just had a gift, silly signer from him and Elbert. 